What's going on folks? Today, short and sweet, hopefully, because I'm really shit at making short videos. There goes my monetization if I ever get it for swearing within the first 30 seconds, but we have the ankle, ankle, we've got an ankle sausage roll maker. Uh, I've already had a couple of pints, I'm now having a vodka because, because this week can go to hell already. Uh, I'm, I'm tired, it's been a full moon or something, I think, I don't know, my dream's been messed up. But I really want sausage rolls, and this is five bucks at Kmart. So I had to buy it and try it out, and I thought I'll film it for you all. Because uh, if it's crap, you need to be warned. But it's also just five bucks. Five. Uh, if it's awesome, win-win. Now, this is uh, Anko, so Kmart branded. And having a look at their website, it had 669, nice, reviews, and averaged 4.9 stars. And it's just come down from, I think, 10 or 15 bucks to five bucks. So it's a no-brainer. I actually picked up something else to try out. And chuck that back on the shelf and got this when I, this, there, when I saw that it was five bucks. Uh, and I can't believe that hadn't sold out. So we're going to look at the basics of it. Uh, the important things are the features. Now I do have uh, spices and the other key things that you need. And I'm going to make another video after this, making sausage rolls because I fucking love sausage rolls. Uh, but that comes next. Right now, we just need to look at this product because... Honestly, I could just say five bucks. You, you get a box for five dollars. I'm pretty certain you can buy cardboard boxes of lower quality than this that cost more than five dollars. But let's open it up and see what we actually get. Hopefully not a rip off, because as I've said in previous videos, I've actually been happy with most of the Anko stuff. Uh, not all of it. You might remember the juicer, I think it was. But for the most part, let's have a look. Oh, I mean. Foam, you get free foam, probably worth five bucks. Extra bit of foam just in case. Um, you get a free child suffocator. Don't suffocate your children. It probably even says don't give to children. So, in the bin, the floor bin over there. And then you get this little horrid looking thing. Uh, and a user manual, sausage roll maker. S659 user manual. So, let's have a squeeze at what she reckons. Uh, safety warnings, electrical hazard, don't throw it in your bath. Hopefully you're not sad. More safety warnings about children choking, drowning, dying. Caution, hot surface. That's the important one, this thing. If it's cooking sausage rolls, it's probably going to have a hot surface. If you can cook sausage rolls without a hot surface, let me know. That is a million dollar idea. Or you've got no sense of flavour. Know your sausage roll maker. Well, yeah, because that is a... A complex piece of machinery. All right, important, dry all things, unpack it, plug it in on a flat surface, blah, 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 blah. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Operation, puff or short cut, cut pastry, close it, plug it in, blah, blah, blah. Cut it into those sizes. Oh, it doesn't come, it needs a little stampy thing to come with. That'd be way easier, but we'll eyeball it. That's fine. Oh, there's actually a lot of instructions. This is, this is way too hard, but it says, Cook for 10 to 12 minutes or until golden brown cooking time may vary. So, this is indicating that it doesn't have a timer built in, which I was quite curious about. It does say, though, during cooking you might notice a whistling sound is due to steam escaping. All right, that's not an indicator. You can check it by releasing the lock and clip, looking inside. During cooking, open it slowly. It may overflow and cause scalding. I bet so many people got burnt and they've just added more and more warnings to this. Cleaning and maintenance, always unplug it, make sure it's completely cooled down, clean the baking plates, dry thoroughly. Storage, uh, store it. Power, 850 watts. As Project Farm says, we're gonna test that. Recipes, now this is what I wanted to see. They have a whole pile of recipes in here. Now, as I said, I fucking love sausage rolls, so I'm excited to try a whole pile of recipes. But Woolies, the smart bastards, also gave me free mints for some reason. I did a click and collect, and I got everything I wanted, plus some substitutions that went uphill, and then a free half kilo of chicken mint, so I'm making chicken snagger rolls. Uh, we've got hot and spicy rolls, definitely going to eat those at some point. Tasty rolls with mushroom can die in a hole. Curried rolls, definitely. Tasty sausage rolls, can't really go wrong. Onion and carrot always in sausage rolls. And what else is going on in here besides not being able to turn pages? How's this going for a short clip already? It's not working, is it? Herbed sausage rolls, well... That sounds more interesting than it probably really is. Parsley, thyme, oregano, no, no weed in that, so it doesn't sound that great. Seafood sausage rolls, they can, seafood turnovers, uh, too fancy, it's probably too expensive. Spicy vegetable rolls are gonna happen. Mushroom turnovers can also go in that other hole I mentioned before. Chunky veggie rolls. 
reminds me of someone. Can't put my finger on it, but I know someone who I need to... I, I think I need to give him a nickname, Chunky Veggie Roll. Cheese and asparagus turnovers? No, I'll do a cheese and veggie might turn over. Thank you. Sweet apple rolls, if you want the recipe. There's all the recipes without spending five bucks. This, in fact, this recipe book's worth five bucks. There you go, you've already doubled your profit. Cream cheese rolls are definitely going to happen. Sweet apple rolls, no thank you, unless you need to bribe someone. 12-month warranty. And Kmart are good for that. If you have any issue, like I did with the juicer, you just take it back and you tell them it's shit and they give you your money back. So I'm pretty happy with that. But I don't need that instruction booklet. I can go in the box over there. Let's have a look at what we've got. We have a roughly one metre cable, which feels like it's made out of good quality plastic with a thousand turns on the cable tie. Oh, vodka time. Mm. That's the good stuff. No name brand. Uh, we've got all the labels there that tell you exactly what's going on. I'm also using the other camera app again, which I forgot to use last time. Open camera. Sausage roll maker, S659, key code, blah, 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 don't care, made in China, as you'd expect, date code 5020. I assume that means it's made in the 50th week of 2020. Uh, so we've got a December production line here, much like myself, and we get a oh, free bit of baking paper. No, nope, but whatever that not baking paper stuff called, it's really similar. I'll use it for something. Now, these are smaller than that looked on the image. Uh, let me get it. They look a lot bigger there. A lot, maybe, bigger. But I mean, I'm not complaining, you just need eight of them to make a meal. So, got rubber grips on the front of the feet, so it shouldn't have, oh yeah, it grips all right, it's not bad. Uh, this feels like it's a fairly stick resistant coating. You've got a little well in the back for any spillover, which is good. Oh, bit of crap coming off it there. Feels like a die cast and a heat resistant plastic of some sort. Ventilation on the bottom. Two lights. Uh, happy, sad, I guess. Locking clip. So, does it have an overheat protection? Does it have some sort of dry run protection? Does it draw 850 watts? What other notes did I make? Uh... Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I was curious if it'll store upright, and I guess it does. So that's probably a bit easier putting it away somewhere. Just jam the cords in there, and in the cupboard she goes. This is actually a good quality feeling plug. But that's about all I was curious really to test. Um, I'm surprised it came with a recipe book. I'm surprised of the good quality plug, and you've got your auntie, don't kill yourself, sad times, electricity insulator there. It's got rubber feet, which is an improvement. I mean, four rubber feet would be better, but two still does the job. Two wish it was a little bit bigger. It's got all the LEDs that the gamers like. Uh, they're probably neon, not LED, but gamers like lights. So, let's plug it in, see if it has any dry run protection, and what it draws. Look at our old trusty Samsung here, so... Did you see that? What's the chance of that timing? There we go. On. Angry lights come on. She's clicked over internally, so there's gonna be some sort of thermostat in there. We'll give this a minute, because this is an average thing. So I'll say it's heating up, and that's up to heat, to be realistic about it. Now it's already fluctuating a bit. So 420, again, nice. Uh, down to 360 or so, yeah. That's an interesting one. I don't know if you can quite see it there. Let's see if that. Yeah. Get that there. 300 and something. 300 and something. It also says I'm only getting 100 and something volts, so may my grid, our like grid connect plug is wigging out because we're on 240 volts here. So, all right, possibly it is actually double that because this is picking up 140 volts when we are definitely, oh, you know what I forgot? I got better lighting than this too. Oh, my bumper came, oh, shit. Oh, right in my face. There we go. No, no, rolling shutter. That's not gonna happen. I need to swap that lighting up for the other one. So for some reason it thinks it's 140 volts, 465. 
watts. So I'm going to give this thing the benefit of the doubt and say it's probably around the 800 mark because my cheapo Bunnings are like grid connect plug thing is packing it in. Now, I did have some crap fall out of this. So wash before first use, the instructions might have said that. It smells like smells like burning plastic or cooking paint. It's getting nice and warm, so if you uh, don't have a hot water bottle and you're cold at night, you can definitely plug this in and cuddle up to it. You shouldn't, but you can. Um, really don't, but it is toasty warm. It's also 30 degrees here, so I'm not in... Yeah. I'm not hugely um, encouraging cuddling up to 30 degree things in, or 80 degree things or whatever it is in 30 degree heat. But let's see uh, how hot it is. Damn it, I gotta go get my heat going. One sec. Oh, I was right here all along. Uh, if I seem a little bit speedy or pumped up, it's because I had orange juice. And it's like 6 or 7 o'clock at night, and I don't normally have sugar much. I don't normally have juice after midday, so I've actually got a bit more energy than all. But we're at the 12 minute mark, it's going for too long. She's still orange, but let's see. Oh no, no, we've got our other lights come on there. So she's at temp, which is, oh yeah, solid 200. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's, I mean it's actually a very consistent 196. So maybe that is how you're supposed to cook sausage rolls. I do not know, but this thing, if you can turn off for a minute, cool down. Uh, yeah, still 157 volts. What's going on? Grid, Alec, 211 volts. I don't know. Off you go. Five bucks. You can't go wrong. Give it a clean before your first use. Maybe get two if you really love sausage rolls, because I mean, 10 bucks, it, it might die. For 10 bucks, get four of them, if you came out got enough of them. Smells funky, so definitely wash it out, like I said, but Jesus, that is, oh, pardon me. That's a hell of a deal. Sponsor me, Kmart, would you? I love your shit too much. I really do. Especially your fry pan. But I'm now going to actually make some sausage rolls. So go check out part two. I probably won't actually upload it for a week or two because uh, drag it out. And let me know your thoughts. If you've got good sausage roll recipes, um, put them in the down below. If you want to see more of this, also put it down there and let me know, but also just liking this video uh, or watching it all the way to the end or subscribing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even look at the metrics. I don't know what videos people don't like, don't like. But if you like the video enough, give me some sort of feedback and I'll make more shit like this. I'll drink more orange juice or uh, vodka juice. And half more burning paint coming off cheap Chinese appliances. But I'm going to cook with this now. And I'm really excited because I'm hungry, I'm a bit tipsy, and I love sausage rolls. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time around.